Welcome back to uh, Ether Race. This is week 109, day 7, the final day and the last day of our one year celebration. Uh, for defenses, uh, we saw this one. So this two came in, but I'm this came in under live loss control, which means I'm still open to be hit, even though there's just under two hours left. I mean, it says one hour, but it's, it's like 4 or 5 right now. So we still got like two hours to reset. So maybe something will come in while we're uh, in the middle of a match. So we'll check back afterwards. Hopefully we don't lose points that bring us below the uh, 80 threshold. But let's take a look at this team. So we have a uh, Brave Hector, Malte Refine, Soul Swap, and that's it, no seal. We have a Julia with Reposition, Attack Smoke, plus three flowers. Freya, no assist skill and close defense. Peony, plus one with HP Attack one and no special. And Leon with three flowers. So Amy with swap. So not very heavily invested units. Which is very impressive that they're this high. But maybe the the new uh scoring changes help them out a lot. Although I do not recommend doing this for anybody next week running a full back line like this. And also, in infantry school level 8 on offense, that is insane. But, so here they go, break stuff. They didn't go in on turn 1, so. But, of course, Camilla jumping forces them to change their strat a little bit. There's a heal, but there's a heal, and there's a dance, and there's a shuffle. So no one attacks. So unfortunately, they made the mistake of setting up Leon underneath the panic manner. Where Tiandra could easily have access to him. And she's still winning in flames. Uh, damage reduction, so there is no hope. There is no hope. I mean, he lives, so maybe there was some hope. Ha! But Flame is here to finish off the job. I wanted to be you, Ephraim. Now, uh, due to the new restrictions, you can lose a unit and still score completely so that's what they're gonna try to do since they do have a Freya yeah. now yeah. here if uh, Camilla had gotten danced before Flynn attack then Camilla would have been able to jump and take up Yoni but Flynn just has a death wish she always goes in and yeah Julia Fallen Julia is a monster so Take a flame, and back away. Heal, Sothis goes in because Sothis lives. Because with no follow up, she can double him and he cannot double her. He's fully healed. Hector cannot kill Sothis, but Julia can exact damage her. Gamble a trap. Clear a path. And then moving forward. Heal and Camilla. Which could not double Freya, but 
she was able to cast gravity. Uh! Here, uh, they could have, at the very least, getting, got one ether and finish off the map because Hector could have moved up one space, break this, then Peony could have danced him, and they could have killed Fjorn, but I'm guessing they either needed both pots or played it wrong by moving Peony first. Or they probably were just seeing to see if Peony could get the kill and accidentally, like, actually move her. Who knows, but they could have taken this ether and killed Fjorn, so... Now that was Bolero, let's take a look at uh, Cho. Now this is a really cool team, and I'll show you why in a second. So we have Kid Marv, plus 10, plus 10, Summoner Supported, Repositionator, DC Repelled, Speed Smoke, and Swift Stance. You know, Kid Marv stuff. Gwena Beer, uh, with Drawback and Speed Rest Solo. Does she really need the rest and the speed? I would have gone with like attack and defense solo if we're going with the solos. Peony, two flowers, uh, draconic aura, triangle adept, distant guard, and flyer formation. That flyer formation only works with air, but maybe she's in, a, in more than one team. Air with one flower, smite, drive rest, uh, attack rest link. And boy, look at this boy, plus 10, plus 10, inscribed on refine, drawback, bonfire, triangle adept, null CD drop, infantry flash, and quick repose. So, triangle effect, triangle adept, and null CD drop is extremely effective against a team like this, especially on a unit which has no rest, otherwise my healers will eat him alive, especially Camilla. Even with his, like, um, TA weapon, but with Triangle Adept and a Tome, a Raven Tome, so Raven Adept really shuts down my team. Alright, that's a trap. Break some stuff, get ready to set up. All right, and then bait, there goes Mia, and her wah. Yeah. Reset the special, Kasgar, there goes Camilla. Again, no specials. And now gravity. Move Guinevere on the other side to bait out Tiandra. And yeah, she doesn't need to ask Peter. She just needed to survive one hit. And thanks to our tome effectiveness, was able to take out the Andra, which doesn't have the highest health of all units anyway. And there goes Flame being suicidal again. I was hoping she would use like rescue a little more, like to draw back units, but all she wants to do is attack. And now all we got left is Sophis. Get one ether. And are unable to get the other ether. And we have a... We have a... What's it called? Hardy bearing, so that's why his vantage didn't activate. Which could have been a bad play had this trap been... Uh, like a 40 or a 50 
then they would have been in trouble because then Saltis would have been able to do enough damage to take him out. So who knows, maybe I should upgrade my ball tower. I always keep it away from my units anyway, so... Alright, so let's get on to today's matches. Um, I didn't check to make sure everybody was fine. Alright, so you don't have a uh, heavy blade anymore. But has heavy blade been helping me out this week? Hmm, should I stick with the attack death solo? Or should I go back to heavy blade? I think I'm gonna go with the defense solo. Attack defense solo. You have your armor goods. Erica, which needs hardy bearing. Uh, same units as before, same units as before, and Guinevere with flashing blade and uh, with fortress death. All right, so everybody seems to be where we need them. We have a legendary Azura. All right, um, Shinon, you don't want him to be by himself. And Tiandra hurts. Freya has a shit ton of speed. So doubling her is gonna be problematic. And then they have flame for damage reduction. This might be a very annoying team because Tiandra hits Fjorm really, really hard. And this one doesn't have a dance, so she's meant to attack. But first, we have this plus one Azura with Triangle of Death, Mumbo, Wings of Mercy, Distant Guard, and Turn Dance. Then Flame, uh, Attack Rest Bone 4, Chill Attack. Freya again with Speed Rest Solo, no assist. So, I guess she's meant to move, but why? Tiandra would just not even base kid because no B skill, no C seal, Mumbo, which she doesn't come with. Shinon with attack defense solo and attack defense solo four. So, like I said, we don't want him by himself at all. And Sotis with Fortress Death Rest, they kept Wrath, and one with a Brazen Attack Rest. Plus two, plus five. So this is gonna be a very annoying team. Everything is decently fast, like, except for this flame, everything's breaking the 40 speed. Pretty sure this is the real trap because they have a healer so they can heal, dance, and heal again so this makes sense for it to be the real trap I do have a healer as well but go here, I'll have to dance out and then heal with Erica. Wenebeer might actually be better. But I don't know if she one-shots Shinon because of Flame's damage reduction mostly. I think we do outspeed him though. We both have 42 base speed, so I may uh, have to go with this team. May the land be bountiful. All right, so who's gonna test out the trap? I think I should test it out with air. Yeah, test the trap out with air. Or Mela, Mela could test it. So I could destroy over here and reposition when be here out of the way so she doesn't get hurt. And then reposition Mila over here have her test the trap dance 
air to reposition her back. Because I expect it to be a high level track. And aside from that, this is a rescue place, so she's just gonna heal Shino well. if it's the real trap. Orders, so break please. that, get you out of the way, yes. get you here, it will be done. test the trap. I knew I it. Dance. The glimmer of life. Your position. All right, so that worked exactly as a new would. I now, bestow my blessing. You here. Death's caress. Back over here. I'm with you. We must end this. Are I you like certain? to put one of your. Choose your path. Guess I could have left one of your over here. Very well. Yes. All right, here we go. We must end this. So we do one shot Shinon, which is great. Like shooting apples off a tree. I mean, reap what you sow. If it wasn't for flame. All right, so we. We should be fine even if Sothis hit us, but we're not fine if Freya hits us. The glimmer of life. So I see. We can take a Triandra hit, we can take a Sothis hit. Actually, yes. I don't really wanna take a Tiandra hit. I'm with you. Which if he had Damage me a little more to put me under wings of mercy. Because I don't want to leave air over here. And I don't have a way to move As air out of the way. So let's go with Yorm doing Orders, the repositioning. Please. The glimmer of life. And you're being shut like down, so this. let's move you over here. All right, let's take a Sothis. Yeah. Atone at once! <sighs> We're not yes. gonna shut you down this time, but we can live through Freya, which is a good please I want to get you some buffs but I also kind of want to leave you where you are maybe As go one down could I go one down That will leave me free. I'm going one, two, three. But yes. if I put you over here, now Flame will be the one that attacks since she has uh, Dazzling. And then get Dance. And then can go one, two, three. Can she do enough damage to Air? She can go here, then she can go one, two, and three. I see. She could attack Azura, but Azura can take the hit. It will be done. Mela might not take the hit as easy. Thirty-four, fifty-six, seventy-nine, sixty, sixty-one. I bestow my blessing. Yeah, Mela might actually be hurt by it. Are you? We have Arch Command. We don't have a. Uh, 
Orders, please. Yeah, we need to tank Freya. I think we need to stay where we are. It will so, be done. We'll go over here. As you say. Come over here. I'm with you. Dance. Yes. Move here. Very well. And we just need one ether. Yeah. 29 and 29 is what? 3058. She will get dance or heal, preferably heal. Ah, we missed the kill. Ah, oh, well, not miss the kill, but she got the kill. Let you down. The glimmer of life. And we can get the kill. Are you certain? Nope, you can't even get a kill like this. Can kill you. But then there's no way to kill you. Yes. Death's caress. Like this. There's no way done. to get you up there either. Oh well. Very well. This is a ladder. Huh. The glimmer of life. I bestow my blessing. We'll see if she can take a hit anyway. Nope. Get rid of you. Yeah. Like this. I see. Yeah, we can't even kill this. It Freya. will be done. I bestow my blood. Like this. We were dead from the start because we couldn't kill this Freya. Choose your path. Death's caress. Yep. <laughs> Just bonus stats and damage reduction built in. There was no way to take that Freya down without like color advantage. But we got pretty close. Uh, yeah, like had we shut down the Azu uh, Azura dance again, we could have done it. All right, time to we have a. Okay, you don't have a weapon. Is this gonna be a free map? This is a free map. Okay, whatever. Uh, we don't count this one. A merciful death. All I need to do is get the ether and that's it. So. Double check, nobody has weapons. Yep. Of life. Get my ether. Yes. And then just auto battle. Yeah. Very lame to see this kind of thing on the last day, but whatever. Ha! At least it gives me an excuse to use Erika so I can put it on the thumbnail. And that's about it. Like, just watch an auto battle. Yeah. Here comes Scale Force. Fly, Lithia. Kaloon and will Azura kill what is it, Nana? Oh no, uh 
Clarine. So was this like a theme team? I know like Klein and Clarine are brother and sister, but that's all I know. So if it was like a theme team, just let me know. But yeah, I mean, this could have been painful because he has a brave weapon as his... Yeah, Argent Ball does a diva, but they don't have a refine. All right. We're tier 27 now. So let's go for our final match. We have a hell. At least this one has a weapon. And there's Brahmin Moon. And you. Why are there so many left this week? Like, she's not even a super popular... I mean, a super common unit. She is a seasonal unit from last year's... Uh, New Year's. We're not even at New Year's, so... Why are there so many lefts? This one's a plus one, plus eight. With attack defense solo. We have Eld again. Uh, 54 defense, so... We won't be able to shut him down. Fortress Death, Wings of Mercy, Distant Guard. By left. Quick Impulse. Rupture Sky. So, instant rupture sky. Chrome. Hardy bearing. Brahmimon. This in defense. And hell. So, there's no way to outspeed this thing again. Especially now with a lol and a solo. And making sure she stays solo. And... Our Gale Force uh, said didn't work yesterday. Because what, 41 speed up? We need, I think I need to switch to a plus speed Erica. And get her like attack speed solo 3. I mean 4 for that leave, even if it's only 1 point in speed. We need more speed. But yeah, uh, 41 with Peony is 45 with uh, plus 6 is 51 with plus 6 is 57. So 57 is the maximum speed we can get. And it would work, but no, actually with a minus 3 because we won't be able to get a uh, speed boom. Uh, buff so again 41 plus 4 is 45 51 52 52 54 54 speed is the most we can have and she has 51 with 6 is more so yeah we can double you and we could double you but we won't be able to prog more uh, we won't be able to proc uh, Gale Force of you. But we could take you out. I mean, go here and then just dance with Peony. It allows you to jump because this is most likely the real trap. And then once you move, you clear your debuff. So next turn, you can go after Brahmimon with an air. And then you have to move out, put Fionn right here to take on Hell or by left, whichever one goes first. We'll need Azura for more buffs because this one we will need the speed. And then I'll just. Gotta find a way to kill that left. Maybe 
have my heirs double team her or something. The glimmer of life. Draw back the position. So I could the get you here. Reposition here, go up, dance, yes. and get you out of the way. And then dance you to clear the debuff. Yeah, 34 races. So you have 34 speed and you only activate if full speed is 35. Although you won't be able to get a guarantee follow up attack anyway because I'm doing I'll get my attack first, so let's the test the trap. Death's caress. So this one doesn't kill him. So I definitely need the other air. Good morning. The glimmer of life. And this one doesn't kill him either. In fact, this one dies. Yes. Why? You who? The glimmer of life. 34 Death's rest, caress. 41 rest, okay. Both of them only the do 10 damage life. anyway. Yes. Mana, no, why? Why do you do less damage anyway? I don't know. Death's caress. Plus 2 attack. Yes. Minus 2 attack. Am I missing something? 12, 25, 15. The glimmer of life. 7, 20, 10. They both have the same kid with exception yes. Swiss Sparrow over Life and Death. Life. Death's caress. Not really sure why it works like this. As you say. So I guess we'll just have to I'm with you. set up to go with Yes. The glimmer of life. Orders, please. For your next turn. Yeah, that one more. I'm not really sure what's Death's happening. Caress, yes. Both heirs have the exact same the kid. With the caress. only difference being uh, reposition and drawback and life and death in quick repose. If force attack is greater or equal to 50, yes. maybe that's what it was. The glimmer of life. Death's was your attack caress. exactly 50 or something like that? No, it shouldn't be. I don't know. I don't understand, Brahmi one. As you say. Yes. As you say. Choose your path. Orders, please. You set up. Ready. The glimmer of life. We can break this here. Yes. And leave you there because we the need the attack. Of life. Not for Brahmi one, but for health. Right, there's Chrome, he cannot actually attack anybody. I mean, get dance right now. I guess he could get dance. Death. Ha! You won't get past me. Not a full health. Here comes Bylef or Brahmimon. Not a lot of healing back. This is my all. But is it enough to survive this rapture sky? Eternity awaits. Ah. Barely. And there's the left, which is the real threat. Death's caress. All right. Uh, As you say. 
One, two, and three. You're gonna get down. So I kind of want this Eldigan to hit somebody. The glimmer of life. Good morning. I Ooh, see. Possibly Azura, which has the most health. I mean, most defense. I don't want Leth to hit. I want to avoid being hit by Leth. Yes. So we could take out hell over here. And then that leaves me with this left having a one, two, three, and attack where Aries. So I will have to move her out of the way. And then break open this. The and then that of puts life. this 46. Death's so you caress. could take a hit. I just need. Yes. Or maybe. The glimmer which one? Of life. You have less defense. You have more defense. All right. So yes. Get rid of hell. Yeah. I'm with you. The glimmer of life. Destroy this to bait you out. Maybe this way. Get the air out of the way. One, two, three, and you can attack over here. Death's caress. You are repositioned, so I do need to move you out of the way. Yes. No rally, so. Choose your path. If we just, we should be able to just simply bait them. The glimmer of life. Yes. As you say. All right. Operation Kill Left. Death's caress. Orders, please. The glimmer of life. Did you? <gasps> Death's caress. Did you? Yeah. As you say. Ether you. Lighter, lance of ice. And then I we have Azura attack in one shot you. Okay, and this is the last match. We don't need ether. I see. So long, Eldigan. Yeah. Alright, that was fairly challenging. I mean, that left, we had to gang up on her. And this help really helped us to avoid getting hurt even more by that uh, chrome. So thank you, hell. But yeah, we made it to tier 28, but we need to know by how much to know whether we are going to be staying in tier 28 or not. We didn't make it to top 1,000, but we are in top 3,000. Alright, no match came in yet, but there's always a chance that a match will come in before the season is over. But for now, let's see how everybody else is doing or did. We're lagging for some reason. Alright, so Kako came in first, as he usually does, with his Nada Plus 10 Tiandra. Then is CLA Rekadov, which beat us by what? Uh, 14 points? 14 points. So I think that's one merge. One merge, seven matches, double, 14 points. Yeah, so he has one more merge on us, and that's where he got those points from. Then Matt, which came in 40 points under us, although he still has... No, because of Max, we can love his story, so... Even if we lose one more match, we'll come uh, just above uh, Matt by, I believe, six points. Sushi, Gaps, Dark Luster, uh, Itsuki, Neo Sourceman, Diego, which very nice hell, Diego. Just give her a seal, please. 
Shota Kitsune Lamras Luis 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 Ghosting which uh, why are you so far down Ghosting did you not play for the rest of the week or something and there's been our newest friend being all right so that's it for this season i'll let you know tomorrow whether we got a hit or not uh for those last points but yeah uh, next week of course is not a water week so these two will not be present but it is Regan's uh introduction week the first time we'll see Regan. and as i have already said this will be my setup for next week uh yeah like this one is probably not the strongest when it comes to the um cavalry defensive maps but um if you're gonna be a cover team uh make sure that you're covering all your all your bases and if you can just if you have um on your a slot for an ar skill especially like ar attack something ar attack speed well ar d attack speed ar d attack res ar d attack depth uh give it to something try to have wind sweep units or units that cannot can be counter attack but are able to do damage and yeah um i believe caps will be strong next, next week specifically because it's a specifically because the first time that we'll be able to use six units so all right uh was there anything to summon i didn't check i don't believe so nope all right so that's it for today um thank you all for the kind words that you guys gave me for this anniversary week uh here's for our second year and hopefully another 50 subscribers as we get uh I was before we reach the end of next year uh thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all next time bye